Cura 5.4 was released recently, and there's two features that have been improved, tree support and brim removal. And also, they made changes to how profiles are saved. I'll explain it all on today's Film at Friday. Film at Friday is brought to you by the generous donations of my Patreon supporters. Cura 5.4 was recently released and they also have a new logo. The improved tree supports that they showed in beta of 5.3 that were then not released in 5.3 have now been brought into version 5.4. They now have this easy to remove brim feature as well. The brim settings appear to be very similar between 5.3 and 5.4. Brim line count is the only thing I saw different. 18 on 5.3, 20 on 5.4. But as far as removal, here's 5.3. You've actually got to bend this and then pull it and break it. It's not as easy as you would like. In fact, this is why I don't use brims because it leaves an edge and it's difficult to remove. Version 5.4, definitely an improvement. This broke off so easily and clean. It comes right off this chep cube. So I gotta say this 5.4 version is much better. Improved tree supports were part of version 5.3 beta, but then they didn't release it in 5.3. So 5.4 has those improved tree supports, and it works the same as before. You go to supports, and you select tree, and I'm going to try everywhere here just to see a comparison. Slicing says it takes 1 hour and 40 minutes to print this with my 0.2 extra fast profile, and here are the tree supports. And you can see there's little tree supports here because it's everywhere, supporting those front holes. But if I switch to touching build plate, so only from the build plate up, it takes one minute longer and a little more plastic, and that's because it's going to support those holes with these long branches going around the front of it and not on top of it. So it's interesting, but this is how the new tree supports are operating. So here's the actual prints. This is the one from the build plate. It's got those long branches in front and no support on the inside. And here's the everywhere print, no branch on the front, and it's got supports inside to support those holes. But the best part is, these new tree supports break away much easier than the old tree supports. They break away very, very clean. In version 5.3, if I want to make a change to a profile, I could click on the drop down, and there were these grayed out settings where I could save current settings into a new profile. For example, if I change the initial layer height from 0.28 to 0.3, then those grayed out selections would appear and then I could save this as a new profile. In 5.4, if I did the same thing, clicked on it, none of those grayed out features showed up and I thought, where did they put them? I had no idea. And if I changed it, I thought maybe they'd appear, I changed it to a 0.3 just like before, and I clicked on the drop down, still not there. So I said, okay, I guess I gotta click on Manage Profiles. So now I get a whole new screen when I click on that, and then I gotta grab the profile, and then I gotta click on separate buttons either to update the profile or create a new one from those settings. Here's a feature that I missed. This little save symbol shows up after you make a change like I did from point two to point three, and it shows you that change and says you can save it. When you click on that, you can give it a new custom profile name and save the new profile. Some people have asked me for a 0.16 profile, which I'm calling my better profile. 0.16 layer height I changed plus a few other things inside of it, and it gives me a chep cube in 42 minutes. Now compared to the 0.2 layer height, which I'm calling the good one, 36 minutes, which is faster but not quite as good. Now the best profile, 0.12, takes significantly longer at 58 minutes. The results I'm getting are not that much better than the 0.2 layer height, and even though it's shorter than the 0.12, I still think the .12 is worth the extra time, but I'd like you to try it. That's why I'm releasing this profile. All my 5.4 profiles are now available to all my Patreon supporters, and also if you're a Thangs membership supporter, you have access to them too. But this .16 profile, I'm releasing that to everybody to try out right now, so there's a link in the description below. If you like what I'm doing here, maybe check out some of the other videos popping up. If you want to help support the channel, Patreon is one way, or a membership at Thangs.com. And if nothing else, click on that Filament Friday logo and subscribe. I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.